Howdy there folks, it's Amelia from Sleepopolis, back with another pillow review. Today we're going to be talking about the Talalay Latex Pillow from Brooklyn Bedding. Ah, Brooklyn. The Brooklyn Bridge, the Brownstones, other stuff. Okay, I've only been to Brooklyn one time, so honestly I don't know that much about it. But fun fact, Brooklyn Bedding is actually named after the founder's daughter Brooklyn, and the business is based in Arizona. Anyway though, I'm a certified sleep science coach, so I am here to go over this pillow's construction and feel, let you know how it's gonna work for different sleeping positions, and give you all some of my honest pros and cons. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can see lots more reviews and sleep content here on our YouTube channel. All right, let's get into it. Let's kick this review off with a quick overview of the policies and prices for this pillow. Now first, Brooklyn Bedding offers free shipping within the contiguous United States. Customers in Hawaii and Alaska will have to pay an additional shipping fee, and Brooklyn Bedding will also ship to Canada for an additional shipping fee. Next, Brooklyn Bedding offers a 30 night sleep trial with this pillow, and that means you can test it out at home for 30 nights, and if you decide it's not a right fit for you, you can return it within that trial period for a full refund. And Brooklyn Bedding also offers a three year warranty on this pillow. Now for the prices. So this pillow currently comes in a queen size, which is what I have here, and a king size. The queen size currently costs $89 and the king size costs $99. But keep in mind that these prices do change often, so head over to sleepopolis.com for the most up-to-date pricing information and some exclusive coupons. Now let's go over what this pillow is made of. So starting off with the cover, as you can see from what it says on the top here, this cover is made with organic cotton. Now organic cotton is a great material because it's not only super soft, but it's also really breathable. So that'll help keep some air flowing within the pillow. Now, if we open up the cover here, we can see the core that gives this pillow its name. This is Talalay Latex. Now, if you're unfamiliar with latex, or if latex just conjures up images of band-aids or those latex dresses the Kardashians always seem to be wearing, it's actually a fairly common material used in bedding and mattresses. Now, this latex is latex foam, and it's derived from the sap of rubber trees. And Talalay latex specifically is a certain kind of latex production that makes it softer and lighter with a more consistent cell structure than other types of latex. This makes it a great material for pillows because it's bouncy and responsive, but still soft and supportive. Latex is also a naturally cool material, and as you can see, this latex is perforated to allow for even more airflow, so overall this is going to keep the pillow really, really cool. Now, the Talalay latex pillow is available in a high and low loft version. Now, loft is essentially the height of a pillow, but we'll come back to that more in the sleeping position section when we discuss which loft you should get. Now that we know what this pillow is made of, let's talk about how it feels. Now, overall, I would say that the Talalay latex pillow has a medium firmness. Now, I honestly really like latex pillows, and I think this is a pretty classic latex feel. It's bouncy, responsive, and supportive, but at the same time, your head and neck can sink into it a pretty good amount and get some cozy contouring. However, I will say that this pillow is definitely not gonna be very moldable. As you can see, it reforms to its shape really easily, and it can't really be shaped or fluffed, so if that's something you're looking for in a pillow, this might not be the best fit for you. Now, I'll add here that I think this is a really good pillow for hot sleepers. Latex, in addition to its many other great qualities, is naturally cool. So combine that with the perforations it has and a breathable cotton cover, and this pillow does a great job of staying cool all night. Are you a back sleeper, a side sleeper, or a stomach sleeper? Or some combination of those? It's important to think about what position you sleep in when you're choosing a pillow, as each position is gonna have different support needs from their pillow. So let's go over how this pillow is gonna stack up for each sleeping position. First up, back sleepers. Now, back sleepers are the happy medium group. They generally need a medium firmness and a medium loft from their pillow. Now, the medium firmness of the Brooklyn Bedding Talalay Latex Pillow is perfect for back sleepers. And while it comes in a high loft and a low loft version, I honestly think either loft can work because the latex foam compresses so much underneath you that it doesn't end up being that high of a loft. I tested out the high loft version and I thought it worked pretty well for back sleeping and I felt really comfortable and didn't feel my neck craning at all. All in all, I think this is a really good pillow for back sleepers. Next up, side sleepers. Now for side sleepers, I generally recommend a pillow with a higher loft and a firmer feel to ensure spinal alignment. 
While this pillow doesn't really have a firm feel, I still found that it was pretty comfortable for laying on my side. The latex foam is pretty supportive and I thought it was keeping my head and neck pretty well elevated to keep them in line with my spine. Now, I definitely would recommend getting the high loft version to ensure that you're getting that spinal alignment. But I will say here, it's not the highest of high loft pillows, so if you are on the larger side or if you have broader shoulders, you might not get quite enough support from this pillow. Finally, stomach sleepers. Now for stomach sleepers, I generally recommend a softer pillow with a lower loft to prevent your neck from craning. While this pillow doesn't have quite that soft of a feel, the latex foam does compress quite a bit underneath you, so it doesn't end up elevating your head and neck too much. But I definitely would recommend going with the low loft version if you're a stomach sleeper. I think the high loft was just a little bit too tall for stomach sleeping. Okay, it's time to recap what we've discussed so far with a nice pros and cons list. Starting off with the pros. Now, my first pro for this pillow is that I love the versatility of it. With soft but supportive latex and two different loft options, this pillow can work for every sleeping position, so it is great all around. Second, I really love that this pillow is so cooling. With the naturally cool latex core and a breathable cotton cover, this pillow is not going to overheat at night. Finally, I really appreciate that this pillow has a washable cover as you can just take it off and throw it in the washing machine and that'll help you to keep your pillow super duper clean. Now onto the cons. So I don't really have too many cons for this pillow because I think it's a pretty good pillow all around and it's pretty simple, but I will say that as I mentioned before, it's not a very malleable pillow, so if you're looking for something you can kind of mold and shape, this might not be the best pick for you. Similarly, if you like kind of the slow moving feel of memory foam that you sink in really deeply to, you may also not like this feel. And again, I will mention that if you're a side sleeper with really broad shoulders or a pretty large frame, this high loft might not be quite high enough for you. So. Well folks, that's all for this review. I hope you found it helpful, and if you're gonna try out this pillow, let me know in the comments section. If not, we've got a ton more reviews here on our YouTube channel and over at sleepopolis.com, so I'm sure you can find something that you'll like. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.